Hey everyone, Chad Kaler here, Field Agronomist for Bex Hybrids in East Central and Northeast Illinois. Today I want to just uh, provide some reminders and some helpful tips regarding soybeans. And today is April 27th and I'm in a soybean field in McLean County, Illinois, just outside the town of Bloomington. Again, uh, it's April 27th and these beans were planted three weeks ago on April 6th. And you can track heat unit accumulation through Farm Server, our precision ag platform within Bex, by putting all your fields in there and tracking certain growth stages that are important uh, for management decisions. But this field has had approximately 113 heat units that have accumulated uh, since April 6th when they were planted. So this is about the, the range of when we need to see uh, heat unit accumulation is 90 to about 130 heat units for soybeans to emerge. There's quite a wide range there, but in general, uh, 90 to 130, depending upon planting depth, uh, tillage methods, etc., and, and uh, soil moisture. But uh, the beans here uh, were no-tilled, obviously, as you can kind of see by the residue on the soil surface. And you, know, you can kind of see some of these hypocotyl arches here and uh, some of these uh, seed cotyledons as I'm moving away some of the dirt. But uh, if you do see some of these and you did delay your herbicide application for whatever reason earlier on because of cool temperatures or just excessive winds, if we see beans emerging like this and we had a PPO containing herbicide planned in there as a pre-pass uh, after the beans were planted, we want to make sure we pull any herbicide out that has Valor, Authority, or Sharpen uh, that would be in there. Those are PPO herbicides that we cannot apply after the soybeans have started to emerge. The other thing, if you're continuing to plant soybeans, you have not planted all your soybeans, we'd encourage you to plant at least an inch and a half deep. That's our standard recommendation or maybe a little bit deeper if you have to go to moisture, but the inch and a half is going to provide a, a better, uh, cooler soil temperature if the te soil temperatures heat up in the summer uh, compared to say a one inch soybean depth and where we see that is where those soybeans will start to nodulate and we want to keep that as close to 70 degrees as possible for maximum nodulation. So those are a couple of reminders on soybeans. Uh, also I just want to mention that if you have additional soybean needs in season now Bex has an excellent supply of top performing genetics lead volume products that we can supply to you. We have an excellent supply available. Please contact your local Bex representative if you have additional seed needs in season. Thank you very much.